Intel Panther Lake has been replicated as Lego. And this is actually real-time usage for this laptop right here. We're here at the CES keynote for Intel. This is Las Vegas 2026, and Intel is about to do all the announcements for Panther Lake. Intel has been working with EA closely, the developers of Battlefield, to unleash the full performance of this title on our graphics. And as we turn on multi-frame generation in the driver, you can see that we can scale to an incredibly smooth experience, over 120 frames per second, and nearly three times faster than AMD. Gaming on Intel Core Ultra Series 3 is absolutely mind-blowing because they are the first, the number one, to be able to do thin and light laptop gaming with multi-frame generation. And this is not just like fake frames and it looks horrible. No, this is nice, smooth, fun experience through gaming. Look, they even have it on the big screens here. Battlefield 6, I was about to say Battlefield 3. Battlefield 6, running on this, perfectly fine. I know because I got, I got one in my bag that I've been using for a little while. It's fun. Panther Lake has 70% more gaming performance and an incredible 50% more AI inference performance. And as you can see, the new Arc GPU not only delivers a consistently soothed gameplay, but when compared to the latest from AMD Radeon, with similar power and similar memory, delivers an incredible 70% higher frame rate on average and 2x faster on select titles. I've been using this HP Omnibook X, and this has the Intel Core Ultra X7 358H. So this is a very interesting Panther Lake processor that is perfect for gaming. And it does have the Intel Arc B390 graphics. This is something that is absolutely mind blowing. Look how thin and light this is. 65 watts is the power brick. And we're getting nice gaming performance. That looks really good and smooth. And this is running on a low wattage, thin and light laptop. Intel Panther Lake is gonna be one of the most widely used CPUs across Intel's platform ever. So this will be utilized for obviously thin and lights for gaming, video editing, servers, uh, all kinds of industrial uses. This is something that's power efficient, very strong in the AI aspect of things. And with all of these cores, you can do a lot. There are a lot of partner devices already and you can start to pre-order some of these starting January 6th, 2026.